So a lot of times we get so caught up in our false bravado or back and forth bravado between adults. Kids start being end up being the ones that's gonna go ahead and be punished for it. You know, so what we came up with was the thought process to go ahead and build a nonprofit. But unfortunately with a nonprofit, you can't be in a public office and then also go ahead and, uh, and serve in any type of directorship from a nonprofit entity. So uh, he ended up his last day, and so the, the agreement was, his last, after his last day in office, he wanted to go down one year time just to spend with my mother, because he had been in politics since the 1980s. And then unfortunately, you know, he wanted one year's time, but he didn't make it eight months to the day he passed away. So that's why I felt the need to go ahead and take the things that he wanted to go ahead and do, and I wanted to go ahead and make sure I built this vehicle with the dream team that we have, which all of you have become a part of, to go ahead and make this the most powerful and impactful organization, humanly imaginable, to come out of the community of Pontiac. And so with you, what has happened since then, the Ascent Foundation has become a multi-million dollar nonprofit wow. coming right from the walls of Pontiac. This year annuals, we will go ahead and cross about 10,000 short of $3 million. And that is a pun. That's, and you can't say, when you talk about Pontiac, everybody want to go ahead and highlight all the negative, nasty things that are taking place in the city. You know, right now, there should be 25 camera crews in here trying to capture y'all. Mm -hmm. Young, black, excellence, sitting over at the table, yeah. learning etiquette. These etiquette sessions, you can get down anywhere you want to go. But what you learned today, it don't make a difference if you were sitting at the table with the governor. The, oh, by the way, the governor who always reaches out and asks about you all. That's how powerful you are. I don't think you understand the magnitude of what it is you all built. I'm sitting here right now, I'm looking at my program coordinators back here in, in new management. They've been here since the inception of this program. Literally, since 2016. And now all of them are coming back and they're bringing their talents, their gifts, and their passion to go and make sure the next generation is going to be good. And that's you all. I need you to put your hands together for that. <laughs> this is what powerful, this is what a powerful push looks like. And you are the, you are the catalyst for that. You seniors, words can't express how proud I am of all of you. Y'all are stuck with it. And for the record, too, if y'all don't know about these kids, they rock stars around Pontiac. Trust. Everybody knows them. Everybody. Because of the work that they do. They not running around here because they hit somebody over the head. That's why they know them. Because they know they're over here creating felonious assaults. They're known because they're out here giving back to their community. I got a bunch of raggedy mamas and daddies out here. Not here. But <laughs> if I was in the community, got everything to say about what kids are not doing, but they won't even lift a finger to go and help their next door neighbor. Hmm. That's not these kids right here. Nope. This is setting the temple of what this world needs to look like. This is setting the temple of what Pontiac is going to look like. Right. You're going to be the next one that's going to be replacing us. Right. It's going to be you. One day I'm going to look up, when it comes for me, time for me to step down from this, I want one of y'all to go ahead and be the ones going to replace me, holding this, hold this mantle. We want to go ahead and build it in from the family, from in within. I don't want to go ahead and bring someone from the outside. That's why we train you. That's why we give you all these different things that we give you to make sure you're going to be good. Y'all doing things. Ain't no kids doing what y'all doing. That's why we give it to you with everything that we got. That's why we can't ever fall short. If we fall short, that means we're failing you. And failure is not an option. That being said, let me go ahead and I would be remiss if I didn't go ahead and ask you all to go ahead and recognize somebody in this room who's given her heart, body, and soul to this organization, and she's done it in just one year's time. One year. She took the medal, and I never forget. I was actually interviewing her in my office. She came to go ahead and drop off some, some, pro some uh, projects for me, and she didn't even know I was interviewing her for what was to come, which was going to be, end up becoming your next leader. I need you to go ahead and understand what it looks like to go ahead and give everything that you got for the betterment of individuals, for people, for children. So I need you all to do me a favor. Ms. Jenna Williams, can you please stand up? Now, 
work without you. It does not work without you. Thank you for everything you've been able to go ahead and give in just one year of time. Thank you. For Michaela Smith, stand up. This community has been asking us to extend this youth coalition to elementary school years for, I mean, elementary school age students for years. But the thing about a mentorship program, you know, too many people use that word mentorship too lightly. You know, one person want to come into a school and go ahead and meet with a kid, you know, once, once every month. That's not mentorship. You know, mentorship is a 24-7, 365 thing. That's why before I even, I was doing mentoring for years. That's how I met, you know, the majority of the people, the older people in this room. But the reality is I would not start a mentoring group until I had my money right to be able to build a staff to make sure any and everything you all were going to need, you were going to get and receive. And so an extension of that is you, Michaela. I knew from day one that she had something really special about her, something that was significant. Something that, see, being special is not something that someone can just give you. It's just something even you kind of let you dump. And that was you. That's why it was a no-brainer. When it came time for us to extend out and do this elementary school coalition, we knew where we had to go. And that's why we came to you, and I thank you for accepting the assignment. Thank you with everything I am. This young lady graduated from Central Michigan University, and as soon as she graduated, we made sure that she was going to go ahead and be the one we were going to pull in. So thank you for that. Thank you for the job. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a scene. To all you parents out here, I would be remiss if I didn't go ahead and say thank, thank you. You are the one to do all the heavy lifting every day with your kids. And thank you for allowing us to go ahead and share some of that. Because that's what we want to go ahead and do. Just be a part of their lives. We make sure that the village is, is living and breathing. Because in this world, you know, everybody this is a little different. It's a little different than when we're being raised. And everyone will go ahead and give it to you. If I was on one end of the street and I did something I had no business doing, I got drugged before I got home. And then when I got home, oh man, that was the main event. That's missing. But, we don't touch y'all, but we love them, you know. And that's what you're going to always give them when you look at us. That being said, listen, I want to go ahead and acknowledge a couple of people. First of all, I need you. Nick, can you come out here, sir? Share up, Nick. This right here, we want to bring out the big guns for you today. This right here was Kevin Durant's chef, personal chef. So if we want to go ahead and cook it, we want to make sure we brought in the best, eh? I'll go fuck it, man. We brought out James for life. Thank you so much for being so with you. I don't know if I need to back your high. Come on back, come on up here. Shh, 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 shh. Listen, when it comes to support for this Sin Foundation, this woman has given us so much over the years. A lot of programs and projects that we have when we get fed, this woman is providing for you. I don't think y'all knew that. You know, could we just bring it in? Y'all just smiling and eating. <laughs> but, uh, thank you so much, Robin Rose, for everything you are and everything you are. Absolutely. <laughs> And the person that gave y'all that, that training that y'all love so much, the person that was giving y'all all those magnificent gift cards, he's actually here. My younger brother Adam here, can you stand up, please? All right. 36. 36 year old man. He's an author, motivational speaker, and is a director of a program. Upper bound, actually, for a Grand Valley State University. The youngest one I've known in the history of Upper Bound in the state of Michigan. You're looking at it right here. That's greatest. <laughs> and that's certainly not the least I'd be remiss if I didn't go ahead and acknowledge one of my board members who is here. This woman uh, has been amazing. She's actually done one of your trainings as well. This is the one to go ahead and make sure I, I'm keeping my, myself in the straight and narrow. And I appreciate it. Actually, I got two of my board members here. First, I'd like to introduce you to some of y'all don't think you. Well, yeah, actually, y'all should have met her via, uh, via Zoom. 
but now you get a chance to meet her in person. Miss Melanie Woods, Dr. Melanie Woods, could you please stand up? And last but certainly not least, I want to introduce you to the person who runs our board meetings. I'm speaking about none other than one woman who is just an absolute dynamo when it comes to the affairs of Pontiac and so many organizations. I'm speaking about none other than the one, the only, Miss Sanjia Wiggins. Please stand up, Miss Board Chair. That being said, I've been more long winded than I think I'm supposed to. I think I see you. I think you didn't give me the sand man, though. So, uh, but before we go, I want to go ahead and say this. Uh, Courtney, where you at? You Put your hands together for Courtney now. When Courtney became the assistant program director, she was just barely 18 herself as a director. And now, here she is right now. And she came all the way from Atlanta just to go and make sure she was here just for you today. So put your hands together for Courtney Lack. Something we wanted to go ahead and do. Can I have uh, our program coordinators come here for a minute, please? Can I have our program director? Come on up here real quick. Why they can still snow. There's been so many times when people go ahead and don't even barely even get a thank you. But there's someone who's in this room right now who is giving so much of themselves. And as far as that development, I told you, we're a three million dollar nonprofit. But for us to get there, we had to go ahead and put some campaigns in place and be able to make ourselves marketable to highlight all the magnificent things that the kids are doing and also the Ascent Foundation is doing. So that being said, it's with the greatest honor that we ask that you, Mr. Sante Lucas, could you please come up? <laughs> well, you know this is coming, did you? <laughs> Mr. Sante Lucas, on behalf of the Ascend Foundation and the Ascend Truth Coalition, for everything that you've been able to go ahead and do for us to go ahead and build these video projects, for us to be able to expand, Beyond, I'm going to say the Michigan for the record too. Do you understand our kids have been using case studies at Harvard University? Wow. Harvard did a video that, that he made with mm -hmm. our kids. Harvard University, Morgan State University, and Grambling State University. Nice. Our kids being highlighted. Yeah. That being said, on behalf of the Ascent Foundation, it is a great time that we present to you on this day, the 23rd of April, 2023, the 2023 Presidential Service Award. Wow to Mr. Edward Asante Lucas. Y'all know his first name was Edward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Edward Asante Lucas. For your entire service, for your monumental contribution, and our unique dedication to the Ascent Foundation in the city of Pontiac and beyond. Your gifts over the past eight years correlates with the astronomical growth of this foundation, and we celebrate you. Congratulations, little brother. Mr. Harris's books, and for those of you who wanted the gift cards, 
um, we have those as well. So make sure you take everything, because I might take a gift card and get his lessons. <laughs> but, um, but just make sure you stop by this front table before you need to pick up any of these items. Um, let's have our seniors um, eat first at when it's time, but before we do that, and um, I'll have our program coordinators will um, invite tables up to eat. Um, please take your glass and your plate from your table when you go. Um, I'd like to invite Ms. Brooke Percy to the stage for our prayer this evening. <laughs> you've done for us and all that you're continuing to do, words and actions can't express how much we thank you, how much we love you and praise you. We ask that you lay a hand around these seniors as they get ready to travel beyond, leave their parents and have to find out life on their own. We thank you for this fellowship and we thank you for all the great things that Ascend is doing, all the great things that are still in the way. We thank you for blessing us and keeping us and guiding us and protecting us and just keeping your hand around us. Lord. We thank you for the chef that has prepared this food. We thank you for the food that we are about to receive. We thank you for the nourishment for our wives to the health. In Jesus' name, I pray and thank God. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 